the Falcons have the number four overall pick. And based off what we've seen with the 49ers jumping up to that number three spot, a lot of people are saying the draft essentially starts at number four. (laughs) So um, I guess we'll just start with who do you think the Falcons will take with the number four pick and why? So I'm going to be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea. Um, I think, uh, and that's why I think it's the most interesting pick in the draft, right? Because, um, you know, every mock you look at seems to have a different answer. And that's not just picks. Like some, you know, there's some question about whether or not Atlanta might draft a quarterback there. And we can talk about that. Um, Even though you still have Matt Ryan, and of course, recently restructured his contract. Then there's speculation that there's going to be offensive talent so tantalizing Kyle Pitts the Florida tight end Jamar Chase that the Falcons won't be able to pass up and then there's a third option which is something that I have been uh, I guess suggesting or projecting Atlanta to do a lot for a while now which is trade down with you know another team that would want one of the remaining quarterbacks so it really is wide open um, after San Francisco made that move to three, which everyone assumes, I think correctly, is going to be a quarterback. Uh, then there's, of course, a question of whether Atlanta likes the remaining quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. There are five that everyone expects to go in the first round. So I don't know. Like I said, if I was the Falcons, I would probably trade down. But I also think every other decision I just laid out is totally defensible. And that's what makes it so fascinating. So say at four, if it's between Justin Fields and Trey Lance, who would you pick if the Falcons do want to take a quarterback? I would take Justin Fields. Uh, I've actually said, you know, he is, he would be my choice at two, frankly, but at you know two. what we know. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. think he's uh, incredible talent, incredible accuracy, athleticism, of course, um, has played the toughest slate of defenses of any of the prospects. And, you know, given what we've seen from Arthur Smith in the past at, in Tennessee, where he coordinated an incredibly successful offense with a mobile quarterback that, Mm -hmm. um, you know, was a very heavy play action, heavy run game. Uh, I think Justin Fields would be a tremendous fit, but frankly, so would Lance. Um, And I think in some ways, Lance makes a lot of sense um, because Matt Ryan is going to be Atlanta's starter this year. So if they were to draft a quarterback, you're drafting him knowing that he's going to sit for a year. And I think Lance probably does need that uh, given um, the fact that he's coming from, you know, a pretty small school program and doesn't have a lot of reps, uh, even prior year when he did play a full season, he averaged less than 20 attempts a game. That was a very run heavy offense at North mm-hmm. Dakota state. Um, and I have to think his physical tools, uh, the arm, the touch, the decision-making have to be very tantalizing to Arthur and Terry as well, but it, it's a nice problem to have. I'll just say that. And I think both of those two quarterbacks would be phenomenal in Atlanta.